just in awe of the beating that Mike Stevens is gonna take. Oh, look at Elgin. Elgin hooked him. Elgin just got a right hook. handcuffs that Hot Shot Johnny Vine is sporting. There's the stipulation announced by Virtue. Devine calling Elgin into the ring. Wow. Elgin bad mouthing the crowd still. Johnny Devine getting ready. He's handcuffing himself. He's waiting for Michael Elgin. Elgin threatening to leave. There's the count. Elgin does not want to get himself handcuffed to Hot Shot Johnny Devine. He's avoiding it at all costs. Devine waiting in the corner now. Elgin has three seconds to get handcuffed. Elgin trying to protest being handcuffed. Not happy about it at all. Ah, come on! He's got it on too tight! Come on! Come on! Elgin complaining the handcuffs are too tight. No, they're not! Come on, ref, do your job! Elgin trying to get the referee's attention, claiming that the handcuffs are too tight. I think he was exaggerating a little bit. Hold on to that for safekeeping. Devine saying he'll hold on to the keys for safekeeping, and this match is underway one on one. A1 taking on Mike Stevens. Mike Stevens is actually one of the taller individuals in GCW, but, oh! Hammering out Adam from behind. But compared to A1, he is very, very small. Stevens choking A1 in the corner. Oh, give me that. Oh. Taking off that Team Canada jacket. Oh, come on, ref, he's choking him with it. What is he doing? Oh, look at no. this. Mike Stevens putting on the, the Canada jacket. Such disrespect. Team Canada member Mike Stevens? Doesn't have a good ring to it. How do you like this, huh? Stevens saying, how do you like this? And the crowd in Oshawa tonight does not uh -oh. like Mike Stevens. A1 just gets right back up to his feet. Stevens better turn around. Better run more like it. The right hand, down goes Mike Stevens. A1 just throwing him around like a rag doll. Off the ropes goes Mike Stevens. Ducks the clothesline. He goes over the top. Mike Stevens lands all the way onto the floor. Oh, 
Wow. Oh, look at Johnny Devine kicking at Mike Stevens for good measure. Because back on May 27th, it was Mike Stevens who cost Johnny Devine his shot at the GCW title. A1 on the floor now, hammering away on Mike Stevens. If I was Mike Stevens, I would just sit down and pretend I was a fan. The crowd's loving this. He's going to oh. suplex. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's not going to suplex him on the floor. Oh, right on the hardwood floor. Mike Stevens is in a lot of pain right now. That is an unforgiving wooden floor. Oh, wait. He's going to chop his chest off. Wow. A1 is just demolishing Mike Stevens on the floor right now. Another time now. Wow. That's got to leave a mark. My advice to Mike Stevens again is to run, but he may be in too much pain to do so. I wouldn't want to pissed off A1 looking across the ring from me. Stevens trying to get to his feet now in the corner. Into the turnbuckle. More than once. Tenth time, he ran him all the way around the ring for more momentum. Elgin trying to trip A1. Cover, hooks the leg, only a two count. I am just in awe of the beating that Mike Stevens is going to take. Oh, look at Elgin. Elgin hooked him. Elgin just got a right hook. Right in the eye. But that allowed Mike Stevens to hit A1 from behind. Maybe that's what Mike Stevens needed. Because I don't know if Mike Stevens could take A1 one-on-one, -on -one, but with any help he can get from the handcuffed Elgin, is going to help him out. Look at this. He, he was choking him on the ropes. Divine is pulling Elgin. It's almost a tug of war. Stevens in control. I know one thing. I would not be seen in public in those tights that Mike Stevens is wearing. Goes for the cover. One, two, no. Mike Stevens needs to capitalize right here, though. A1 is, again, as I've said millions of times before, huger than him. Oh, I agree. Mike Stevens needs to stop wasting time. Mike Stevens now hammering away and a chop by A1. A1 firing back now. Stevens in the corner. Mike Stevens goes to the eyes. Sets him up for a suplex. He's not going to get the big man. A1 reverses the suplex on Mike Stevens. Elgin and Devine in the corner watching intently. And a jawbreaker by Mike Stevens. Goes for the cover. One, two, no. Stevens even hooked the leg, but it was only a two count. Stevens is getting a lot more than that to pin A1 again. And this time he's not going to have the help of Unreal Michael Elgin. Knee lift by Stevens in the center of the ring. Cover again. One, two, no. Stevens did not even hook the leg there. Definitely not a smart move, but now he's stretching out Mike Stevens and that's, excuse me, stretching out A1 in that surfboard. Divine getting the crowd behind A1. Mike Stevens now. A1 getting to his feet. Power of A1. A1's way too powerful for that. Ducks the clothesline. Oh, he got caught in a sleeper though. Mike Stevens caught him in a sleeper. This is how you ground a giant sometimes. That's lock what he's got to do. Sleeper. He's got to lock that sleeper in tight, but the ref needs to check whether that's a chokehold. Elgin trying to pull himself up to the ring. What a sleaze bag. How can we call that man our champion? Michael Elgin, GCW Canadian champion. There, I just did it. He's the anti-role model. 
champion. If A1's arm falls one more time, this match will be over. No! A1 still has fight left in him. This is not good for Mike Stevens. He needs to make sure A1 does not get to his feet right here. A1 fighting to his feet though. Mike Stevens not strong enough to keep the sleeper. Hold on. Off, in, off the ropes. A1 with the sleeper. Oh, Stevens caught him with a suplex. What a display of power from Mike Stevens. That was very smart. I never doubted of him as being a weak individual, but that's A1 he just picked up, and I didn't think he had it in him to hit him with a back suplex, but he did. And it only got a two count. Stomping the side of the face. There's no way around that. That was right around the eyeball. Look at the hair on Mike Stevens. He needs to see his barber immediately. Just because it looks like a shag carpet does not mean that it is a bad haircut. Mike Stevens to the top now. What's he gonna hit? He hits nothing. He hit the canvas. That elbow drop did miss. And that was a rough landing for Mike Stevens. And if Mike Stevens had hit that elbow drop, it, this matchup may be over. But A1 had the presence to roll out of the way. Ref counting both men down. Although A1 is on the ropes. A1 needs to pull himself up. The crowd getting into this contest. Both men on their feet. Hammering back and forth with punches. A1 blocks and a chop. Punching chop combination, uh oh. And a right hand. Stevens just can't stay down. And a back elbow. A1 is trying to take Mike Stevens' head off. Diving shoulder block knocks Mike Stevens down. He is on Dream Street. Inverted atomic drop. Off the ropes comes A1. And a forearm sending Mike Stevens to the canvas. One, two. No, he almost had him. I am surprised Mike Stevens found the power to kick out there. That was almost a three count. The, the fans even believing it was a three count. Mike Stevens going to the eyes. Saying the match is over. He can't get him up. Back body drop. A1 in control. Stevens, no. A1 reverses the Irish whip. Pump handle. Can he get him? Into a power bomb. That's got to be it. One, two. Wait a minute. That's Eddie Osborne. What's he doing back out here? He wants his gear. Where's his gear? Why didn't the ref give him his gear? He's asking for his pants. This is not the time to be asking that. E1 is visibly pissed off. Eddie Osborne needs to get to the back. He does deserve a shirt. Oh, a low blow by Mike Stevens. Wait a minute. Stevens just hit. Stevens is attacking Divine. Oh no, they got the key. Mike Elgin and Mike Stevens are going after Johnny Divine, and I'm guessing they're trying to get Michael Elgin free here. They've got Divine. They're trying to get Elgin unhandcuffed. Oh my God, no. Stevens trying to uncuff Elgin. Oh no. And they quickly grab Johnny Devine. Oh no, they've got Devine handcuffed to the ring post. There's three of them out there now. A1 is back up though, and he's going after Mike Stevens. But Osborne Mike, has the ref distracted. But Mike Elgin is loose. Michael Elgin is not handcuffed. He's in the ring. Come on, ref, turn around. Elgin's gonna hit A1. No! Elgin hit Stevens. Osborne in the ring. It's three on one. Osborne out of the ring. A1 sending the champion to the floor. It's back to one on one, but Johnny Devine is handcuffed to the ring post. A1 now on his 
Down with a slam. One, two, he got him. A1 comes away victorious, but oh, here we go. No time to celebrate. He may have won the battle, but Michael Logan and Eddie Osborne are going to make sure he does not win the war here tonight. Wait a minute. Divine, Divine got the key. Divine broke free. Hammering away on Elgin. Kicking away at Stevens. A1 sending Osborne to the mat. Divine and Elgin go one on one later tonight. My God, that was chaos. I am just in shock. A1 still managed to pick up the victory and with Johnny Devine's help, fight off Eddie Osborne, Mike Elgin, and Mike Stevens. Jamie Virtue now with the mic. The contest, A1! A1 wins the contest. Jamie Virtue promising a surprise to Michael Elgin. What on earth could that mean for the Lumberjack match for the championship tonight? 